Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to remove Microsoft OneDrive from your Windows 10 machine. Now Microsoft OneDrive is like Microsoft's version of Dropbox. Say, you know, a place to save and share uh, files across machines. You can log into uh, two or three different computers or devices and if you have the same OneDrive account active on each of them, uh, the files that you have on the one device will be available on the other. That can be very useful, but many people don't use that functionality and OneDrive is always running in the background of their system, popping up notifications and they don't want it, they don't understand it, and they'd like to get rid of it. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. The first step is to make sure that nothing uh, personal and important of yours has made its way into the OneDrive. So let's click on File Explorer here and we're going to go to the system drive, generally drive C, and there you'll find a users folder. Go into that and then look for your username. In this case, the username for this machine is owner, so I'm going to go into the owner folder. Okay, if you have multiple users, you may need to do this for each account on the system, right? Now, uh, within the user folder, you should find a OneDrive folder. We want to go into that, and here you will be able to check and see if any important documents of yours have made their way into the Microsoft OneDrive. Um, this often happens uh, without your knowledge and or consent, uh, just because uh, it becomes a default for uh, under certain circumstances. Say if you're using Microsoft Office, um, you may not realize it, but if you you know select a certain option, it's going to be saving to OneDrive instead of your documents folder. So there may be some very important documents here in here. So the uh, quickest and easiest way to save all of that would be to you know click anywhere in the white area uh, of the file list. Hold down the control on your keyboard and then tap the A. So control A, then that selects all. And then drag those documents over to your desktop. Okay, and uh, we get this notice here that a certain shortcut can't be deleted. Uh, so we're trying to move it and uh, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, the shortcuts aren't critical, they're OneDrive shortcuts, and there's the uh, one that didn't delete after moving, but we do now have on the desktop uh, a copy of what was in the OneDrive. Okay, so now we can safely delete the OneDrive uh, without worrying about losing any personal documents. So let's close the File Explorer, and now click on your start button and type in control panel and you should see a selection for the control panel app. Click on that and I prefer the small icons view so in the top right hand corner click on view by and small icons to get this view here. We'll maximize the window and in here, we're going to look for programs and features. So you're going to click on that. And then in the list, you're going to look for the Microsoft OneDrive entry. Click on that and then go ahead and click on uninstall. Give it a couple of minutes, maybe not even that long. and. Microsoft OneDrive should disappear from the list and you're done. You can go ahead and close that off and you'll no longer see OneDrive in your notification area here. And hopefully this has helped you achieve your task of removing it from your system. Thanks for watching.